Hello and welcome. This tutorial will show you how to create a flow in the M4RPA Studio, allowing you to extract key values from a financial document using IDP flow based text extraction. First, we will present the use case overview for which we would build the flow, then we will create the RPA flow and execute it, and at the end, we'll recap the list of activities used in the flow. For today's use case, we want to build a flow which first reads an invoice and extracts key values, such as the total value. Then we will do a received payload transformation. And lastly, at the end, we'll display those values via a message box. To begin, we'll be using the IDP flow base extraction to retrieve the data value from this invoice as our input. The IDP flow base extraction is AI driven. But before that, we need to ensure that the ION API application is authorized within Enforce RPA management, since this is the prerequisite of using any of the OCR related activities. For more information, check the Infor RPA Studio user guide for steps on how to do so. Now let's go to the RPA Studio, where I've already created the flow, allowing us to extract the data value. To start the flow, we'll use the extract the data activity, an existing activity which is enhanced with IDP flow-based text extraction. For that, we need to create the document path which is the exact path to the document from which we'll be extracting the values and create the variable invoice data of type JToken. This variable will be storing the JSON payload. To configure the extract data activity and retrieve particular entities, first we'll click on the flow based selection, then in the select flow, we'll select the IDP flow. We'll be using the Infor Invoice Classification Pre-Build using the AWS Textract. Click Next. And now in the flow mapping, we'll be selecting and deselecting the entities we would like to retrieve from the business document. Next, to visualize the JSON payload coming from the extract data activity, we'll configure the message box just by providing the input text invoice data dot to string. Proceed to save the changes. Next, we'll create the flow, which will allow us to extract that particular value. So for that, we'll be using the objects inside of the extraction data from the JSON payload. From this payload, we would like to extract just a single activity, which is dot value equals total. And if the type dot value will be equal to total, our entity will be equal to total. So for the entity, we would like to get the float value, which is the exact value coming from the business document. For that, we'll be using the for each item inside of the object, invoice data, object extraction data. Then we'll create a sequence and inside of it, add the if block with a condition, if type value dot to string is equal to total. And if my entity is equal to total, then we'll need a sequence. We'll assign the total value variable, which will be storing the value of the item where the entity is equal to total. So from item, we'll retrieve the field value and we'll transform it to string. And then we'll display it in the message box with the following details. Total value, which is a string, plus value, plus total value, our defined variable. Now let's run the flow. First, we'll see the initial message box showing the JSON payload with extracted values. Here, under the extraction data object, we'll have the invoice received ID entity and the values extracted from the document. Then the total value extracted document and the entity assigned to it, which was the total. The third value which we've configured is the subtotal. For the subtotal entity, we've also retrieved the subtotal value. And finally, we see the total value in the following message box. And that concludes today's tutorial. We demonstrated how to use multiple automation activities in Infor RPA Studio, such as extract data, assign, and for each. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. If you wish to see more, visit our YouTube channel and developer portal where you can find more related content.